Right, I think we are live. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me and welcome to a solo playthrough, as it says just down there, down there, uh, a solo playthrough of Earth. Uh, now, this game is coming out soon. I think it's coming out soon. Uh, backers are going to be getting their copies soon and I think it's going to be available uh, in retail. Uh, Inside Up Games, who have sponsored this video, they're in the chat. So if you've got any questions about the game and when it's going to be available in your area, uh, I think Connor is hand delivering all copies to backers. Um, so yeah, find out where he is um, and see when you're going to get your copy. Now, I've already done a full how to play video for this game. So tonight I'm not going to be teaching you how to play. I've already got a video on that. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing the solo mode tonight. So this video assumes that you already know how to play the game. If you don't, I definitely recommend checking out my how to play video. Uh, I'll give you a quick overview at the start of this one, but I won't go into details. Um, so yes, there is a how to play video on the channel uh, and I'm going to be explaining how the solo game works. And then we're going to be playing through a solo game. There are four different difficulty levels that you can choose. There's beginner, there's medium, there's hard and there's expert. Uh, and I'm going to be playing on the medium difficulty level tonight. Um, I've played the game a few times. I've played this game probably about 10 times over the last month. Um, and I think I'm OK at it, but I don't want to go too far. <laughs> um yeah, so what we're trying to do is, in the solo mode, we're playing against an Automa, which is Gaia. And we are trying to score more points than Gaia. Uh, now, Gaia scores points in a similar way to me. Gaia has her own board, which is here. Uh, and Gaia is going to be collecting Sprout tokens, just like we do. And every Sprout uh, is worth one point, same as us. Uh, Gaia is going to be composting cards into her compost. Every card in the compost is worth a point, same as us. Gaia is also going to be doing growth tokens. So if I just press this button here, and I've set all of my presets up, and I think this is the right one. Yeah, sort of the right one. Um, it's actually that one. Right, this is the one. This is Gaia's board. Uh, this is the reverse of one of the player boards that you use when you play in the solo game. And Gaia is going to be basically placing growth markers here. Now, this works in a similar way to the uh, multiplayer game. For the fifth growth marker there will be the canopy. So basically, we're going to be doing these in order, and the more of these growth tokens, the more points she gets. Um, the special thing about it is this space here. So one of the unique things with the solo mode is, if you remember the green action, the green planting action is where you plant cards. But after you've planted the cards, you get to draw four cards, keep one of them, and discard the other three. Now, in the solo game, here's the, qu here, here's the catch. Um, what happens is, uh, and I'm just going to check this, yeah, so Gaia's cards, any card that I discard, so remember, I draw four, keep one, discard the other three. <clears throat> but in the solo mode, the three cards that I discard go here. And this is Gaia's scoring pile. And it actually says, um, yeah, place Gaia's cards face up in the scoring pile, which is going to score each of them the base value at the end of the game. So I'm going to be very careful. If I'm throwing away cards, Gaia is going to score points for every single card that I discard through the planting action, not just if I discard cards normally. Um, now, quick shout out before we start. First of all, thank you very much to Ryan Crichton. Ryan is a fellow content creator and he laser etched this uh, gaming rules logo into there. So thank you very much, Ryan. Ryan is the YouTube channel Knights Around the Table. If you're interested, he does a great tutorial videos. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is... Although this is a sponsored video, I do rely on the support of the Patreon campaign to keep the channel going. So a huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for funding the channel. And if you like the content that I create and you want to support me, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Now, the other thing just before we start is I am very, very confident we're going to get the rules correct tonight, especially if Connor is here for the, for the playthrough. If I do anything wrong, it's going to be caught live and I'll correct it. But... On the off chance that I do miss something or make a mistake and you're watching this back afterwards, please turn on your subtitles, switch it to the Klingon channel. And if something is picked up later, that's the phone. Hopefully somebody will get the phone. Um, if it's picked up later, then I, I will add subtitles into the video so that you uh, can see any corrections. But hopefully, cross fingers. Oh, Max is here. The designer of the game is here as well. Excellent. Right. So we should be OK. We should be OK rules wise. Now. What I've done, Earth has a big, big deck of cards. So we have a massive deck of cards. I've given them a really good shuffle and I've divided them into four piles. I'd like you in the chat to pick a number, one, two, three, or four. 
and that's going to be the first pile that I use. When that pile runs out, uh, well, no, then what I'll do is I'll stack them in order. So a little bit of a shuffle. First number to appear in the chat is three. In fact, three people have said three. So one, two, three. That's going to be the first deck. That's going on there. That's going on there. That's going on there. We have one big deck of cards, uh, and I'm going to put that off camera. There you go. Right. So we are all set up. Now, let me just have an explanation. Let me just show you what we've done. First of all, presses the right button on the board. Does he press the right button? Yes, press the right button. Right. So what we've got is we have our four fauna cards, which were chosen at random with a random side up. And we're playing the advanced version today. So we're playing the standard game or the advanced game, whatever it's called, not the beginner version. So we are using the ecosystem cards. And I just wanted to spend a minute to take a look at these cards because these uh, these are what's going to score you extra points. And every time you play the game, almost the first thing you need to do is you need to have a look at these cards because these set the objectives that you're going to be doing. First of all, the fauna cards. So the brown bear card is five abilities, five, five brown abilities, and that can include the island card. So as soon as we get five cards with brown abilities, we get to score this objective. The plain zebra is eight or more cards with a sunny habitat. Again, that can include the climate card and include the island card. 15 or more cards in your compost pile and seven or more cards, each with one or fewer habitats. Interesting. I've not played with that one before. So they are all one off cards. As soon as you achieve that, as soon as you meet that requirement on there, you claim that objective by placing your one of your leaf tokens on it. And it's going to score you the points at the end of the game. Now, Gaia is also trying to be scoring these objectives and she will claim them. So I want to try and get them before she does. Then over here, we have the ecosystem cards. Again, these are double sided. There's loads of them included in the game. You shuffle them, you put them down. Uh, these are also end of these are end game scoring cards, but these can be scored multiple times. So we are going to get at the end of the game and Gaia doesn't get these. We do six points for every six cards in our hand maximum of 24 so that that tells me that i want to you know draw lots and lots of cards into my hand and keep them in my hand we're going to have a very big hand size in this game and finally mcmillan park is five points for every two cards each of which costs four or more soil to play right so they are our objectives now when we look at let's see if i press the right button yeah so as a player you get one island card one climate card and you also get one ecosystem card these cards are double-sided and after i've seen the fauna and the ecosystems i choose which side of these cards that i want to play and i've decided i am going to be playing with lombok island uh, it's worth six points at the end of the game uh, it's going to give me some good stuff to start with and it gives me an ability um every time i plant a water card now that's sunny so that already contributes to the plain zebra card. I'm also going to be playing the tropical monsoon cl uh, climate card, um, which gets me two growth if I choose the blue action. And again, that's also sunny. And I'm going to choose the Namib, de Namib desert, which is three points at the end of the game for every two sunny cards I've got. So this game, and this is my experience with the game after about 10 plays, it's all about finding the right cards that fit with as many things as you want. So straight away, you've seen, we want brown abilities. We want sunny habitats. We want cards in our compost. We want cards with one or less habitats on. We want cards in our hand. And we want cards that cost four or more. And that's just the global objective. You then got your own personal objectives. And all of those things are going to contribute to making a decision. Right. OK, so off we go. We're going to be playing the game over 12 rounds, maximum of 12 rounds. And each round is I take a turn, Gaia takes a turn and then that's it. Now, if I manage to complete my tableau before that, unlikely, but if I do, the game will end early. Um, Gaia has her own deck of cards, which is this. It's only six cards. Um, and I had a bit of a mild panic this afternoon because I, I'd sleeve these cards. Now I've taken the sleeves off for the purposes of the video because otherwise there's too much glare. Um, but I'd sleeve these cards and this afternoon I took the cards out of the box that they were in and I could only find five of them. And I had a, a real panic 
and then it turns out that um, one of them was stuck in the box. So we're all right. These cards are shuffled, and every turn, it's Guy's turn, we're going to reveal one of the cards, and we're going to do what it says. After we've been through all six, see here, times two, we shuffle them, we put them back on there, we go through them again. Sorry about the uh, the autofocus. Uh, let me just uh, let me just set that. Uh, manual focus, preset five. Hopefully that will do it. Um, we'll explain that a little bit more later on when when it actually happens. But to start with, we process our island card. So our island card tells us that we are going to start the game with drawing five cards, composting one of those from our hand into our compost, and we get four soil. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do in the game. Now I've got the fancy soil tokens. So I get four soil to start with. Uh, and I draw five cards from the deck. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm only going to compost one of these. So we have... I probably should have had a, a camera view for my cards in my hand, shouldn't I? Um, so again, what we're looking at is we're looking at these cards. I've got to, I've got to get rid of one of them, um, which is a composted card. So it's still going to get me a point. But I'm looking for things that fit with the other requirements. So do we have... Uh, first of all, we're looking for sunny climates. So there's a card here with a sunny climate on. And the good news is, right, let me just, um, yeah, let me just, let me just do this. Here we go. Yeah, we can use this one. Um, so this card here has a sunny climate uh, and it's only got one climate. So that actually fits for two of the fauna cards. It fits for the plain zebra and it also fits for the wood duck. So I'm tempted to keep that one. It also fits with the Macmillan Park ecosystem because it costs seven to play. So I'm probably going to keep that one irrespective of the other stuff on it, because all of this fits. Now, the event cards, I'm not sure about the event cards, um, because this one, it costs me two points to play it. I lose four growth and I get eight sprouts. If you think about this purely from a points value, that's actually not bad. That's a two point card. But let's have a think about it. I don't need this. I certainly don't need this. This doesn't fit with anything. Now, this one, it's frosty. It's not sunny. It doesn't have, it's got two habitats, so it doesn't fit, but it is expensive and it has a blue ability. So that's a possibility. That's also a possibility because it's sunny. Yeah, and then flash flood. Lose four cards from your compost to gain four growth markers. I think, uh, see, that's expensive. Right, I think I'm going to get rid of Typhoon. That's the one that I'm going to get rid of. So that goes to my compost file. I think the compost is face down because every card there is just worth a point at the end of the game. Um, what else do we do? So we drew five cards. We've composted one of them. We've gained our four soil. And I think that is it. That is that is the setup done. So we're ready to play. Uh, and I choose one of four actions. Now, you'll notice this is the solo board because what we have is we have the four actions at the top as normal. They are slightly different. But we've got four actions down at the bottom. And I mentioned that there are four difficulty modes in this game. There is beginner and medium. And if you're playing beginner or medium, you use these top actions. And then there's hard and there's expert. And if you're playing hard or expert, you use this bottom actions here. What is the difference between beginner and medium? You'll find out. They both use the same actions here. But there are certain cards from this pile, um, which basically will will give you an extra bonus if it's beginner or an extra penalty if it's on expert and you'll see you'll see them when the cards come out but we're going to ignore them because we're playing on medium so on my turn i choose one of these four actions what thing do i want to do well first action in the game i mean do i want to plant uh <laughs> i'd forgotten i've got a special ability from planting water cards i should have taken that into account as well um I probably don't want to plant at this stage because I've only got four soil. So one thing I like to do quite early on is the red action, the compost action, because that gets the extra soil. And that's going to allow me to play some of these cards. Um, yeah, I think that's what I might do. I mean, I certainly don't want to be watering at the start because that adds sprout tokens and I've nowhere for them to go. Uh, that's drawing cards and adding growth tokens. No, I think we're going to compost. So I'm going to select the composting action. I gain five soil. One, two, three, four, five. And I compost two cards from the deck. 
So from the deck, two cards go into my compost. Okay. Then what I do is I then resolve any red composting abilities that I have in my tableau and on my uh, player board. I don't have any. So that is the end of, of my stuff. But now what we do is we resolve uh, Gaia's stuff, which is um, this. You can just about see. Let me just move that up, in fact. There you go. You can just about see which preset was that. I think that was preset number four. Um, the bit at the bottom. So what I did is I did the bit at the top. Gaia is the other player. So Gaia does the bit at the bottom, which is composting two cards from the deck plus composting another card from the deck for every two soil that I gained this turn. Now that's in total because I might have had uh, red abilities that actually gave me extra soil. As it was, I didn't. So I only gained five soil. So Gaia gets four cards to her compost. So one, two, three, four. There you go. So basically she's got four points. That's it. That's my first turn done. So now what we do is we go to Gaia. So the first of these cards, now these were shuffled. In case you don't believe me, I'm actually just going to shuffle them now. And the first card is Plant. So this is, a, as I say, it's one of six solo mode cards. And even though it's Gaia's turn, whenever a card gets revealed, first of all, if there's an ability at the top, I get to do that before her. So I get to uh, play one card. No, sorry, draw one card from the deck. No, that's play one card. Yeah, that's play one, plant one card and then draw one card for the deck and then activate all of my green abilities. And then after I've done that, uh, Gaia gets to have a go and Gaia will draw three cards which get added to her scoring pile. And then down below would be some text to say, if it's the beginner version, do this. If it's the expert version, do that. This one doesn't have any. So basically I get to plant a card, then I draw a card, then I activate any green abilities on my board. And then after that, Gaia is going to get three cards which get added to here. Okay, so I get to plant a card and I have lots of soil. And I've got this bonus from Lombok Island that if I plant a water card with the water habitat, I get two growth. Now, I do have a card with the water habitat, but it doesn't have any growth on it. So that would be wasted. Um, do I want to get started on planting the sunny cards? I think I do, because this has got space for five growth on it, this card. So I'm, I'm going to play this one. So it actually cost me seven soil, which is most of my soil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, the first card that you play can be anywhere because you've got a tableau and it's a four by four grid. Um, but your first one can go anywhere because I could now plant three to the right of it, which means it would be here and I could plant above it and below it. As long as your total tableau size does not exceed four by four, then you're OK. So that comes into play. Uh, it wasn't a water card, so I don't get to do that green ability and I have no other green abilities. And now I draw one card into my hand. Oh, only Gaia scoring cards have the difficulty changes at the bottom. Ah, right. OK, cool. So I've drawn another card, the Putrefied Land. Lovely, lovely place. Hmm. Right. Uh, Non-alcoholic cider, just to help with my throat. A little bit fizzy. It's quite nice. Very tasty. Uh, anyway, I've done that. Activate my green abilities, done that. So now Gaia, three cards which get added to her scoring pile. So one, two, three. Now her scoring pile is always face up. So the right button so basically i have no choice out of this but what happens is gaia is going to score these points at the end of the game wow there's a 10 point card there a zero point there card there and a two point card there now gaia never scores the terrain abilities on the card but she does score the points for the cards wow so that's 12 points she's got right there gosh <laughs> And that's it. That's the that's the first round of the game done. I don't know how long it will take to play a solo game of this if you weren't live streaming it. I'm going to guess, and Max is in the chat and Connor's in the chat, you can tell me. I'm thinking 20 to 30 minutes for the solo game. Is that about right? Anyway, it's my turn. What am I going to do next? Well, again, we're in the situation where I just don't have much soil. So do we want to choose the composting action again 
and just gain some more soil. It seems a bit cheesy, but I think I might have to because I can't really. I mean, I could play this card. It only cost one. And it is a water card, so I would get two growth. Hmm. But I want to be playing the expensive cards. So, and I also, for the earthworm, I want to be composting cards in my pipe. So, yeah, we're going to choose this action again. We're going to choose the composting action again. I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five soil, two cards into my compost. And Gaia gets exactly the same as last time, four cards into her compost. Right, how many cards do we have in my compost? It's not 15. Five, we're getting there. But that's it, that's my second turn done. I have no red abilities. Um, does the solo end when you fill your tableau? Yes, and if you do that, you get seven points for ending the game. If Gaia goes through her deck twice, I believe she will get the seven points because she triggered the end of the game. Right, the second card for Gaia's second turn is the watering card. So I'm going to get two sprouts or two soil. Then I'm going to activate my watering abilities and my multicolored ab abilities. Um, just the same as if it was a multiplayer game. And then Gaia is going to get seven sprouts plus an extra sprout for each of my blue abilities, wherever those blue abilities are. Now, I have a blue ability on my climate card, so um, Gaia is basically going to get eight sprouts. But before that, I get two sprouts or two soil. Now, I think I'm going to take two soil because I don't have any use for sprouts at the moment. So, yeah, I'm going to take two soil and then I'm going to activate all of my blue abilities, which is this one. But it is two growth only if I chose the blue action. And I did not choose the blue action. So that's it. And Gaia quite simply gets eight sprouts. So what we do is we just fill these spaces up. Uh, you're supposed to do it in order across the top, but it, it doesn't really matter. Basically, she's going to get one point at the end of the game for every sprout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I guess you could put them on here in whatever order you want to. Make a little... Um, picture if you really wanted to um but that's it that's Gaia's second turn so what am I going to do if Gaia's deck runs twice she gets the single yes thought so what am I going to do for my third turn again I've got the soil got the soil we could go a planting but so we could go planting and if we planted a water card then I would actually get some extra growth Top to bottom might be easier. Uh, yeah, that's true, because there's 10 down. OK, we'll go top to bottom. It, it might have said that in there. They're in groups of five. Very good point. There you go. We're going to go top to bottom. Ah, the columns are 10 each. Right, OK. So maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Um, I'm tempted to plant. Because I could plant a water card and then that ability would trigger and I would get two I would get two free growth and that water card is actually a sunny card that would be my fourth sunny card now this putrefied land is actually really good because it's one point at the end of the game for every card in my composting pile and I think I'm going to be composting a lot so I probably want to keep that um, but the planting action allows me to plant two cards. Can I plant two cards? I actually can. And the more cards you play, the more abilities you get. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to choose the planting action. So I get to plant two cards and I'm going to plant these two cards, the Virginia Strawberry and the Yellow Moral. Uh, they both cost a uh, total cost of seven. Seven, I don't get any discounts on them. Now, this next one that I place can go anywhere adjacent to this, including diagonally. Um, now, in this particular case, I because the order in which you resolve the abilities is really important, and you've got to resolve them in reading order. But for these abilities, I don't think this matters too much. 
Oh, except this one is plus one growth for each bush in this row. So I don't want to put them in the same row because these are not bushes. Other than that, I don't think it matters right now. So I'm going to put that one there and I'm going to put that one there. Just to demonstrate the fact that you can have them on the diagonal. In fact, let's put this up there. There you go. That's a better place for it. Um, right. So I've done my planting. Now the now the bit that's worrying me. I am drawing four cards. I am keeping one of them. And then the other three I am giving to Gaia as points. Which is lucky. Look at that. I've drawn these events that are actually negative points. So if I give them to Gaia, which I probably want to do, because this card is actually, it cost me three points to play it. This, this card is a net zero. Now, there are certain situations where this card would be useful for you because growth tokens do tend to be worth more than sprouts because if you stack them up, you get the canopies. But I'm going to give that to Gaia. That's, that's yeah. Oh, sorry. Negative points become positive. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. I remember reading that earlier on just before we started the stream. Negative points are converted to positive values for Gaia. Thank you very much, Connor. So it's not so good. It's not so good. But I could give Gaia... Uh, I mean, that's that's a zero point card. So that that's a great card to give to Gaia. I mean, it's a good card for me, but it's really expensive. So I, I'm going to give that to Gaia. Um, which one else do I want to give? I mean, that that's a really cheap card. It's not worth many points. But the ability is that it makes all of these minus two the rest of the game. That seems really good. That seems very powerful. Is that the one we want to keep? I mean, it does have water and it does have sun. And we want water and we want sun. So I'm going to keep that one. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. That's going into my hand. And these are all going into Gaia's scoring pile. So that's effectively giving her another four points. At the end of the game. Right. And then that's it. That's what Gaia's ability is. My three discards are added to her scoring pool. So that's 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 that done. Right. Gaia's third turn is compost. So I get to take two soil or compost two cards from the deck. And then I activate all of my red and multicolor abilities. Now I don't have any red or multicolor abilities. So it is literally do I want two soil or do I want to compost two cards? Well, I'm going to take two soil because I don't have much. And then what Gaia does, let's just go back to this. Um, Gaia is going to compost eight cards from the deck. Wow. And get one soil for each soil that I gained this turn. Now, why does Gaia want soil? Gaia collects soil. And whenever she's got 10 soil, she immediately spends it and composts five cards. So that's the only thing that she does eight cards wow so one two three four five six seven eight now Gaia probably now has 15 cards uh in her compost pile so you're probably thinking well why is she not claimed this objective so Gaia claims these objectives by means of her personal cards you don't have to keep counting to see in fact yeah Gaia doesn't have any of these abilities so yeah Gaia will claim these during the game and you'll see that happening uh, and then she gains a soil for every soil I gained this turn, which is two. Right, that's Gaia's third turn done. My go. I have four soil. We now have some abilities. Oh, I forgot. Hang on a minute. We forgot. Did anybody in the chat mention it? When I planted a card, I planted a water card and I should have activated my green ability. Apologies for that. I did miss it. Uh, so I'm going to have one on there. And I'm going to have one on here because this is a canopy. So this card here, uh, if it's got one on it, it's worth three points. And that's a canopy card. So, yeah, I did forget that. I knew there was a reason why I planted it. Yeah, if somebody in the chat did spot that at the time, apologies, I missed it. Right, my go. What am I going to do? 
my fourth turn. I don't think I want to plant again. Although we now have this terrain card, which is free. And events can be played at any time, but I can't play that because... Oh, no, I can. But I'm not going to. I'm saving up for my 15 cards in my compost pile. And that card's good as well, but I need... Mm. Are we going to compost again? <laughs> Seems a bit odd. Um, but the other option is that I gain growth and I gain cards. So that's an option. And I'd actually gain two growth for that. And then this ability would trigger. Or, no, i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose the watering action. Because the watering action is six sprouts and two soil. And those six sprouts, I have space for these. So I'm going to put four on here. And I'm going to put two on here. Now, at any time in the game, pretty much, you can spend three sprouts to gain two soil. So I actually have an extra four soil there if I need it. And then I activate my blue abilities. Now, we do have some blue abilities to activate. I can choose to activate my tableau first and then my player board or the other way around. I am actually going to choose to activate uh, my player board first and I have the tropical monsoon, which is two growth if I chose the blue action which I did. So that goes on there. Then I'm going to resolve my tableau and I resolve my tableau in reading order uh, and I get to this ability which says I can spend two growth, which I do, in order to get four sprouts. But before doing that, I'm going to spend three sprouts to gain two soil, which means I net gain of one because I didn't have room for the four. Right, so that was me. I did my stuff. I've triggered that ability and that ability, and it's now Gaia. Now, Gaia, if you have a look here, says Gaia is going to get one sprout for each of my blue abilities. So this is this is the downside of me playing blue abilities, is I now have two of them. So Gaia gets two sprouts. There you go. That's it. Right, Gaia's fourth turn. Yeah, Gaia's fourth turn. Here we go. We have a grow card. So first of all, I am going to get two growth or two cards in my hand and then activate all of my yellow and multicolor abilities. Uh, and Gaia is going to get seven growth plus an extra growth for every card that I drew into my hand this turn. So if I draw two cards into my hand, Gaia is going to get nine growth. Hmm. I think... I think I'm going to take the two growth. Although cards in hand is nice. I only have three cards in hand. And we know that I need 24 cards. Well, no, the more cards I have in hand at the end of the game, the better. <sighs> but if I take the extra cards. Guy is going to do that. Oh, it's painful decisions painful decisions i'm gonna take the two cards i'm gonna risk it yeah i'm gonna take the two cards and then i activate my yellow abilities and i have one yellow ability which is plus one growth on each bush in this row which is right now just that one and now gaia gets nine growth so the way that this works is that we're going to put growth tokens on here but this number is five so we go one, two, three, four, and then the fifth one is the canopy. So that's five. And then we start the next one. One, two, three. There we go. And the next one will be the canopy. I don't, you probably can't see that <laughs> on the overhead camera. Let me just switch to the other camera and, and go up a little bit. There you go. You can see it better there. So, yeah. So what we've got is the fifth one on there uh, will be the canopy and the fourth one on there will be will be the canopy. And then we basically just keep going across. Um, and it says here 25 points. So one each of these, once you've filled in an entire thing, that's actually worth 25 points. So you don't need to count it. Right. 
So uh, what was that? That was it. That was Gaia's turn. So it's back to me. How are we doing? How are we looking? I've got one, two, three, four, five cards in hand. Um, how are we doing for these things? Brown abilities. I have no brown abilities. Eight cards with sunny habitat. I've got one, two, three. I've got four. Fifteen cards in your compost. We don't have that. Seven cards each with one or fewer habitats. No, no, no. I've got one of those. So I'm not doing... Oh, Gaia needs the second canopy. Do I? Did I miscount? Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yes, thank you. I can't count. <laughs> there you go. Second canopy is on there. Right. So, my go. And this is why I do solo playthroughs live, because then, uh, yeah... <laughs> Then people can point out the, the the many, many mistakes that I make. I tell you what, I don't make this many mistakes when I'm not live streaming, but there's a lot of there's a lot of extra overhead. Did I forget my strawberry ability? Strawberry ability. Did I forget that one? I probably did. Okay, let, let's let's rewind. Apparently I forgot my strawberry ability earlier on, which is Compost a card from hand to draw two cards. So let's just put the two cards. Um, yeah, let's let's do that one. So I've composted a card from hand to draw two cards. Apologies for that. Right. OK, so now we're looking good. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six cards in hand. Yeah, this is looking a bit better. Um, oh, guy needs two more growth. Oh, yeah, because. Absolutely right. Yeah, well spotted because Gaia is getting extra growth for each card I drew in the turn. And that counts as a card that I drew. So two more growth for Gaia. Right. I think we've caught up with all of the mistakes. Ah, right. So. We're back to the decision time. What are we going to do? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight soil. I'm looking for sunny cards with no other habitats. Sunny cards with no other habitats, with brown abilities. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> the chance of me getting them. Oh, that cost four or more soil to play. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fussy. Um, but we have another bush. If we play another bush card in the same row as this. Yeah. Uh, I could, we could, we could go a planting. We could absolutely go a planting. Um, it's and it, it's a sunny card as well, so that helps us with that goal. Um, and what ability is it? Oh, it's it's got an ability that adds cards to my thing whenever I compost. Yeah, so we've got to play that. So we're planting, uh, the Jojoba. I won't try and pronounce his Latin name. I've spent the two soil. Now, where is this going to go? It's, it's going to go in the same row as this. It probably doesn't matter where it goes. So I'm going to put it there. Uh, and it's a sunny card. It's not a water card. So I'm planting, aren't I? Yeah. So I'm not going to trigger that. Now, if I do plant a water card, for example, the pewter... Oh, no, that's really expensive. I think... We might plant a terrain card, ah, which is a brown ability. Aha. Yes, the terrain cards have all got brown abilities on. So the second card I'm going to plant is Alphysol Terrain, which is going to make my trees too cheaper for the rest of the game. And it is a water card and it is a sunny card as well. So I'm definitely not going to put it in the same row as that. I'm just going to put it down here, which means that is the vertical height of my tableau defined. I cannot go any higher or lower than that. That's free. That's my planting done. But because I planted a water card, I get two growth, which I'm going to put on there. Like so. OK. And then go and then I draw four cards. One, two, three, four. And we are in decision space time again. Oh. So I'm going to get to keep one of these cards. Oh, look at that. It's a bush that gives sprout tokens on every bush in this row. 
So that that's a potential combo. Um, that's quite nice as well. That's sunny. That's sunny. That's frosty. And this is an event card. Oh, no, I don't like that. I don't think I like that. So I'm getting rid of that one. That's one card I'm definitely getting rid of. I think we might go down the bush route and take that. Although it is another blue ability, and I'm not sure about too many blue abilities. Um, No, let's do it. So yeah, so those, although it is a zero point card, I would be giving... I would be giving Gaia fewer points if I put that card in her pile. Do we keep this one? Because it's got a red ability on it. Oh, decisions, decisions. Yes, we're going to keep that card. So those cards go into her pile. That's the card that I'm keeping. That goes to my hand. That is me done. Right, you're now going to see something different because I mentioned that Gaia has six cards. The other two cards that we haven't seen are her scoring cards. And this is the North Pacific Gaia. And it says, choose either the upper fauna objective. Sorry, choose either of the upper fauna objectives and place one of her leaf tokens. And this is the text that I was talking about earlier on. If we were playing on beginner mode, you would skip Gaia's next turn. We're not playing on beginner mode, so we're ignoring that. And if we were playing on expert mode, Gaia would get a bonus as printed there. So we're not playing on beginner or expert, we're playing on medium, so we can ignore those. But basically, I choose either of the upper fauna objectives, and then Gaia scores it. Now, it's going to be this one, because I think I'm closer to that one than I am to this one. And I want to try and seize that one before she does. Right, back to me. Have I made any rules mistakes? I don't think I have. <laughs> not anymore, anyway. Right, next up. My go, what are we going to do? We're probably not going to plant. We pro we've got two red... No, we've got one red ability. I have the other... Oh, I've got these red abilities in hand. Do I want to plant and get these red abilities on the table before I then start choosing the other actions? Do I want to build up my engine, basically? I think I do. I think I do. Uh, and then next turn, we'll choose the red action. <laughs> yeah, is that my plan? Problem is, these aren't water cards. I want to be planting water cards to get my bonus. Um, but these are really good. Yeah, there's some really good abilities on these. So I'm going to play them. Have I got seven? I don't have seven, but I am going to use that ability. So I am going to convert three sprouts into two soil. I'm going to choose the planting action again. And I'm going to spend one, two, three, four, five, six, seven soil to plant the parrot wax cap and the reddish corky fungus. You won't want to meet that on a dark night in Columpton. So where are these cards going? Are any of them bushes? No. So I don't want to put them in this row here. The order of the red abilities, these two doesn't matter. And that one, that one doesn't matter either. So I don't think it matters. There are lots of other cards in the game that will give you points for uh, things that are adjacent and things like that. It all depends what comes out. For now, for me, right now, I don't think it matters where these two cards go. So I'm just going to put them there. And neither of them are water cards, which means I don't get to trigger my ability. How many sunny cards do I now have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've done it. I've got eight, which means I claim that. So that's 15 points. Sorry, not that one. That one, 15 points. And it doesn't matter, not that I'm going to go below it, but once you've claimed one of these objectives, it's yours. If for some reason something strange happens and I lose one of these cards, um, which I don't think there's anything in the game that causes that to happen, um, then you don't lose the claimed objective. Okay, we're done with the green planting. I'm done with my green abilities. We are now drawing four cards. One, two, three, four. And we are discarding three of them. Now, I have a tree here. I get a discount on playing trees. 
uh, it's water and it's got one habitat on it. So I think that's the one that I'm tempted to play. I think that's the one I'm tempted to keep. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of these other three. There you go. Decision made. That one gets added to my hand. Right. Okay. Yeah, there are cards that let you replace them for free. Finally, Gaia's sixth turn is the other scoring one. So we're going to choose either of the lower fauna objectives and Gaia is going to claim it. And then rules here if we were playing beginner and expert. So which one of these? Well, we're going to have to claim this one. There you go, because I've already claimed that one. And that's it. That is Gaia's six turns done. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get five brown abilities at all. <laughs> we're halfway through the game. It is back to me. I have one soil, so I'm not going to be planting. I now have a whole bunch of red abilities. And I think that's what I want to do. So I am going to compost. I get five soil. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and I now activate all of my red abilities. And this is where the order is important. Well, it's not important in this case, but you must resolve the abilities in reading order. So first of all, I gain one growth and I gain one sprout. So I'll have the growth on there and I'll have the sprout on there. OK, then I compost two cards from the deck. Into my compost pile and then I compost another two cards. From the deck. And yes, yeah, a very good point in the chat. Um, this game is currently on board game arena and it has the solo mode included. It's a really good implementation. It's just come out of alpha. It's in beta. I've been playing it a whole bunch and it's brilliant. It's it's one of the best adaptations that I've seen um, digital implementation of a board game. So yeah, go and check it out. It's on board game arena. It's free to play. I think it's free to play. Um, although it's in beta, I think you need a premium membership to play it. But yeah, really good. So we've done the red abilities. Now uh, Gaia is going to compost Two cards plus an extra card for every two soil that I gain. Now, I only gained the five soil, so it's just an extra two cards. Right. Uh, that's it. That was my turn seven. So we go to Gaia's cards. I'm not going to zoom in now because you've seen them before, but uh, we're choosing either of the upper objectives. So she's claimed that one. Hang on a minute. Did I claim it? No, I counted them and forgot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight. Yeah. OK, so she's claimed that one. That's it. My go. I've only got four cards in hand. I did say I wanted lots of cards in hand. Should I be yellowing? If I yellow, I'm going to get four cards in hand. And I'm going to get two growth. And I'm going to get two extra growth. So I could. But what's Gaia going to get? Gaia's going to get one growth. For each card that I draw into my hand, which is four card, which is four cards. Oh, and then that could be six cards. Oh man. Two compost more were needed. Why? I forgot to compost two cards from the action itself. Oh yeah, I did. Sorry. Yeah, the red ability is compost two cards, and then I get an extra two and an extra two. Thank you. So I've actually got 12 cards in there now. So if I chose that ability, oh no, I'm not in any rush now. What am I going for next? This one, seven cards, each with one or zero habitats. I've got one of them. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that. So I'll tell you now, I'm not going to win this. Um, I am not doing very well at this at all. It is a really interesting challenge. And there's so many tiny little micro decisions that you make um, that all add up. What am I going to do? Am I just going to compost again and get another six cards in there? So I, I get six cards in there, which means I claim the objective. Gaia's going to get four cards. So she's still getting four points. It's a bit cheating. Um, I mean, I do want to play this putrefied land because that doubles the number of points that cards in my compost are worth. I don't really want the, the the watering. I don't really need. I mean, I've got space for the sprouts. 
and at every sprout is worth a point so that's that's six points effectively but i could use those sprouts as soil on a three for two uh, and i've only got two oh and i get this if i choose the blue action so i get two growth which is quite nice and gaia would only get two sprouts so the blue action is actually not too bad for me um we're not, we're not going to plant we're definitely not going to plant so it's either i think we're just going to do this we're going to stick with the plan we are going to compost again so i get another five one two three four five i get the two cards from the ability which i'm not going to forget i then resolve my things i get one growth which i'm going to put on there so that's that only needs one more and i get a sprout which i'm going to put there then I compost another four cards. One, two, three, four. And at that point, I believe. Yes, I have 18, which means ding, ding, ding. I claim that objective. Right, that's all my stuff done, I believe. I've done all of my red abilities. Um, Gaia, I was going to call her Isaac then. I don't know where that name pops into my head. Definitely losing the plot a little bit. Four cards. Right, Gaia's eighth turn. It's the grow. So I can either grow twice or draw two cards. At this point, I think... Oh, now cards in hand. No, I'm going to grow twice. And both of these cards... One growth is worth two points. So I'm going to grow twice. Then I activate all of my yellow abilities. I've got this one. So I can compost a card from hand to draw two cards. If I do, Gaia is going to grow nine. Otherwise, she's going to grow seven. Hmm. Abilities are optional. Do I want to do that? No, I don't want to do that one, but I do want to do this one, which is plus one growth for each bush in this row. So we have our fifth growth on there and we have an extra growth on there. I'm just going to show you this on the uh, on the overhead cam because these, these look really good, these growth pieces. There you go. So you can see there. So I've now got my fifth growth on there, which is the canopy. Here, I've got three growth. I need two more. Uh, there'll be another growth piece added, and then there'll be a canopy added on there. And as you can see here, these are just canopies. So if it says one, you never actually put a growth token on it. You just put the canopy. That represents uh, the top, basically. Right. So what have we done? We've done that. We've done all of my yellow abilities. which means we now go to Gaia. So Gaia is going to get seven growth. It's just seven growth. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a huge amount of points. Yeah, these are all small numbers here. <coughs> That's it. Right, my go. Now, soil situation is good. What were we going to do? What were we going to do? Was it going to be blue or was it going to be plant? If we plant, do we plant the putrefied land? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got eleven. Follow the arrows. It's not reading order. Not sure what you mean. What what have what have I missed? <laughs> oh, uh, it's not reading order here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The 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 growth markers here. Ah, so it's three growth. Thank you. That's what I've missed. It's not reading order. That's a bit odd. But yes, the arrow, the arrows are there. It goes that way, then that way, then that way, then that way. Okay, 
So, and it basically goes five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one, five, four, three, two, one. Got it. Thank you very much. I hadn't spotted that. That's the problem. When you play it on Board Game Arena, it does all of this for you, so you don't see what it's doing. Um, what are we doing now? Are we going to compost again just to get so many cards into here? Or are we going to plant? Because I kind of want to plant this. But I also want to plant this. Oh, there's so many things that I want to plant. Oh, so your fingers have more room to move around the different heights. Ah, oh, that's clever. Very clever. I wouldn't have thought of that. I'm not sure about just constantly composting because I'm getting the soil and I'm getting cards in here, but Gaia's getting four cards in here every time I do it. I could water, and if I water, I get growth and I get to spend some growth. Let's do that. Let's choose the watering action. Okay, so I get six sprouts. Now, before I do that, do I want to spend any? No, because I have room for all of these. So one, two, three, four. I'm just going to mix them up for no reason. Five, six. Then I get two soil. Then I activate my blue abilities, and I'm actually going to activate my tableau first, which means I get to activate this ability to spend two growth. So one, two. That gets me four more sprouts. I will have one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to activate this one, which is two growth if you chose the blue action, which I did. So one, two. Manipulation of growth tokens. Um, how much soil do you have if you spend all of your sprouts? Loads. Absolutely loads. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 13 i have 16 sprouts so that's basically 10 soil if i need it whenever i need it but every sprout i spend is losing me a point uh right so that's all of my blue abilities done gaia is now going to gain sprouts equal to each of my blue abilities which is only two surely that's the action for me to do surely it is oh speaking of sprouts Let's just have a side topic conversation. So historically, I, I've not liked sprouts. However, this year, over Christmas, Vicky cooked the most amazing Brussels sprouts. They were part cooked, then fried with garlic, and it was the most amazing thing that I've had. So yeah, top tip. If you want the recipe, uh, go to vickysatsprouts.com. I might have just made that up. Whose turn is it? It's Gaia's turn. It's the brown card. It is choose either of the lower objectives. So Gaia is claiming that one. Yeah, I don't think I was going to get anywhere near to that one. Right, my go. So we have lots of soil. I think it might be time to go a planting. That is a very good point. If you fry anything with garlic, it tastes amazing. <laughs> um yeah so we we have that that card is worth one point at the end of the game for every card in my compost that is an 18 point card it does cost 12 to play though and when i play it because it's water i get to i get to um grow twice i have very little place for growth markers so actually what i think i want to do is I want to play another card as well so that I can grow onto oh but then but that and then oh and then oh <laughs> yes okay I think we're gonna do it I think we are gonna do it I'm gonna choose the planting action so the first card I'm gonna plant is the black mangrove now that is a tree and I get a discount on trees so it only cost me four one, two, three, four. Now, this has two abilities on it. It has a yellow ability, which is to compost two cards from hand. It's not a bush, so I don't want to play it there. And it has a blue ability that allows me to spend the sprout token to gain soil. I don't think it matters where it goes. I'm just going to put it there. Okay. 
Now, this is two growth for every water card I planted this turn, but you do all of your planting first and then you resolve your abilities. So I've planted one water card. This means I'm going to grow four times because I'm going to plant a second water card, which is the putrefied land, which cost me 12. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I need three more soil. So I'm going to have to get rid of six sprouts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ouch. Okay, but putrefied land is in play. Now, it's not a bush, so I don't want to put it here. Where it goes probably doesn't matter. But if I put it here, that has set my 4x4 four four grid. So my 4x4 four four grid is now completely fixed. And it's a water card. So once I've done all of my planting, I now get to resolve my abilities, which is four growth. Uh, which is basically three canopies. Because it's the, it's one growth on here, followed by the canopy. And then it's the fifth one on both of those. Right. And now I get to draw four cards. Oh, one soil change. Yes, thank you. Um, is it one soil change? Yeah, one soil change. Because I spent six and I needed three. Yeah, one, two, three, four. So I've got to throw away three of these cards and give them to Gaia. Oh, and I've drawn some big pointing cards. I've drawn a 9, a 1, a 5, and a 6. That's unlucky. That's really unlucky. Um, oh, and the card that I want is that one. I can't, I can't give it all of these points. That's a ridiculous amount of points. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. I think I'm going to have to keep that one and give her 14 points. That's... Oh. Or I, do I keep that one? No, it's too late in the day for that one. Yeah. Okay, I got lucky. I got unlucky there. But I did get lucky early on with the card. So that's the card I'm keeping. That goes into my hand. Right, okay. That's my turn over. Gaia's only got three turns left. It is the compost card. So I can either gain two soil or compost two cards from the deck. And then I activate all of my red abilities. Now, my red abilities. Oh, have I got an event? No. Rats. I'm all full with growth. I can't have any more growth markers. And I'm going to about to get one. Um, I'm going to gain two soil, am I? Am I going to gain two soil? No. No, I'm going to compost two cards from the deck. I am then going to activate all of my red abilities, and it's these. So I can't gain the growth, but I do gain the sprout. And then I compost four more cards. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then Gaia composts eight cards and gains soil for every soil I gained this turn. I didn't gain any soil, so she just compost eight cards. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Eight cards? Wow. Right, my go. I have two turns left. I'm pretty sure we're not going to complete our tableau. Uh, I can't have any more growth. Because everything is full. And the only way I have of spending growth is choosing the blue action, which allows me to spend two growth. And then I get the two growth back. So that's not a bad move. The blue action is actually, points wise, is pretty good because I get six sprouts and Gaia only gets three. And then I get to spend the two growth to get four more sprouts and then I get the two growth back. I think, just because of the way things have played out, the watering action is better for me. So six sprouts one, two, three, four, five. Six. I get two soil. I am then going to activate my tableau first. I can remove a card from my compost to gain two soil. Now, cards in my compost are actually worth two points each. So I'm losing two points to gain two soil. I don't know whether I want to do that. But oh my god, that card is amazing for me. 
So in almost every game I've played, this is a really weird thing. This deck gate game has a huge amount of cards. They're all unique, but I keep getting the beach. I don't know whether it's because I've watched the Leonardo DiCaprio film recently, but for some reason I keep drawing this card in almost every game I've played. And there is a perfect opportunity. If I play the beach card there, that's 16 points at the end of the game because it's four points for each orthogonally adjacent space, which is empty, including off the edge of the island. So I think I want to play this. I think I want to try and play the beach before the end of the game. Anyway, what was I doing? <laughs> I've completely lost track of what we're doing. Oh, that's it. Do I want to compost a card from my hand to gain two soil? Yes, I do. I'm going to compost. No, no, sorry. It's remove a card from my compost out of the game onto the discard pile that we haven't actually seen the discard pile yet. So I'm losing two points by gaining two soil. Uh... Now, I am going to get to plant a card in a minute. I am going to do it. I'm going to do it. Right, we're going to discard a card from my discard pile to gain two soil. Right, then I'm going to remove two growth, which is going to be... Well, it doesn't matter because I'm going to get it back. Remove two, remove two growth to get four sprouts, which is one, two, three, four. Then I resolve this ability and I gain the two growth back. Okay, there you go. And now Gaia gets one sprout for each one of my blue abilities. I have three blue abilities. She gets three sprouts. Right, there we go. Gaia's penultimate turn is plant. So I get to plant one card, the beach. It's going to cost me seven. I have one, two, three, four, five. Three sprouts is seven. I have planted the beach. Uh, then I get to draw a card. And then I get to activate all of my green abilities. Oh, plus two growth if I planted a water card. I did plant a water card. I have no space for the growth. I've overdone it with the growth in this game. I needed more abilities that allowed me to spend the growth. Um, yeah, so that's that. And then Gaia gets three cards, which are just added straight to her pile which is another eight points. Wow. Right. OK, my final turn of the game. I've got no soil. Um, I've got no hope. So we already know the watering action is good for me because I get loads of stuff. But as it is right now, I only have space for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I've only got seven space for sprouts and I need ten. Now, every card in my compost is worth an extra point, up to a maximum of 30 cards. So I think, and I think the chat's saying this, yeah, compost a bunch, that's six cards, that's a 12 point swing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty
And if I don't gain the five soil, because that five soil is not going to get me any points. And Max O'Connor will tell me if I'm right. If I choose not to gain the five soil, Gaia will not gain the two cards, which is an extra two points. Now, I would know what this last card is. Yeah, OK, so I think I'm right that I can actually forego. It is optional, which means Gaia did not gain those two cards. There you go. Clever. Yeah, because I don't I don't need to do it. I do not need to do it. Yeah, all benefits are always optional. OK, it is the final turn of the game, and that means Gaia is going to end the game. So Gaia is going to get seven points for ending the game. And it's the water action. Do I want two sprouts? Or two soil. Two soil does nothing. So I'll have two sprouts. Um, and we then activate all of my blue abilities, which is, do I want to lose a card from here to gain two soil? No. Do I want to lose two growth to gain four sprouts? Well, I only ha I have space for four sprouts. But if I lose two growth. Now that's currently getting me six points. Yeah, I think on a simple points basis, I am going to lose the two growth here, which is effectively losing me three points to gain four points. So it's it's a one point swing. It's simple maths. And then Gaia gains seven sprouts plus an extra sprout for each of my blue abilities. I have three blue abilities, so Gaia gains 10 sprouts. And I, because I'm in a rebellious mood, I'm going to put it in this column here. And that, I believe, is the end of the game. Time to work out how much we've lost by. Because, I mean, I enjoyed this, but I don't think I've done very well. So. Uh, you will score victory points as in the standard game. So first of all, the victory point value printed on all of my cards. 1, 2, 3, 8, 10, 11, 15, 22, 22, 31, 33, 39, 43. So 43 points purely from my cards. Did I play any event cards? I didn't play a single event card in the entire game. Sprouts. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25 sprouts. Wrong column. 25. Right. Sorry. No. No, that was compost. 25 sprouts. Cards in the compost. I think it was 31. Seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Oh. Did I miscount? Anyway, I got twenty-nine. Twenty-nine cards in my compost. Next, growth tokens. And if the canopy is on, I get the higher value. So two, four, twelve, fifteen, uh, eighteen, twenty-two. Twenty-two from growth. Uh, okay, next is terrain cards. So I get 16 points for that beach. And I get 29 cards from the putrefied land. Wow. That's huge. So what's that? 29 plus 16? 45? 35. I can't add up. 45. 45 points from terrain cards. Right. Wowzers. Okay, and now uh, let's look at the fauna cards. So I scored 11 for that and 15 for that. I scored 26. Right, now let's look at the ecosystem cards. So for my own ecosystem, I get three points for every two sunny cards. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's 12 points. 12 points for my own ecosystem card. This one, six points for every six cards in hand. And this one, five points for every two cards, each of which cost four or more soil. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's three of them, so that's 15 points. And that is my total score. So 
43, 72, 72, 97, 97, uh, 119, uh, 164, 176, um, 191, 197, 217. That's quite a good score, I think. I think 217 is a good score. But let's find out what Gaia scored. So, first of all, we're going to add in the base victory point value from every card here with negatives counting as positive. <laughs> so, 5, 8, 13, 22, 23, 24, still 24, still 24, 25, still 25, 27, 28, 31, still 31, 33, still 33, 43. So she scored 43. So Paul Gaia. So was that 43? That's exactly the same points as I got. <laughs> How odd. Uh, one point per sprout. She's got 10, 25. 25 for sprouts. Um, she gets one point per trunk or the canopy completion value. So she got 25 for all of that, plus an extra three. Uh, so she's only got 28 for that. Uh, leaf tokens on the former board. So she actually got 45, 56 for fauna cards. A lot more than me. Um, so she does not score for the ecosystem card. She does not score for the terrain cards. I think we might have done it. 43 so 25 plus 28 is 53 53 plus 43 is 96 we've easily done it have i missed anything oh i haven't scored for a compost ah i've missed the points for a compost right without the points for the compost <laughs> it's 102 uh it's 158 okay this is going to make it a lot closer oh and seven points for finishing as well so 158 plus seven is 165 so she's currently on 165 are we ready 166 167 168 169 170 171 172 173 174 175 176 177 178 179 180 181 182 183 184 185 186 187 188 189 190 191 192 193 194 195 196 197 198 199 so i've only gone and done it so final scores gaia 199 paul the master overlord uh, of earth 217 so yeah we did it set on the medium difficulty level which i think was the right difficulty level for me i was a little worried when i was putting some big point cards in there um but that all averaged out because there were some big point cards that went in there and there were some really low point cards that went in there um now the next difficulty level let me just show you this if you wanted to play on a harder difficulty level it would be down here so it's different actions so the planting action is actually still the same this is this is no different this one Gaia gets to compost more cards so she's gaining more cards uh yeah five by default instead of two this she's gaining more sprouts and this she's gaining more growth tokens so it's actually no more extra complicated rules it's just it's just extra stuff and then if you want to play on expert then what happens is you use the bottom half of this board but these scoring cards, whenever they come out, there is an ability printed on them. So if you're playing on expert mode, she gains either sprouts or uh, growth, depending on which card you choose for that one. Uh, and this one, she gains soil or cards to her scoring pile. So, yeah, so they're the four difficulty modes that are set in there. And obviously there is a beat your own score element to it. Although you're competing with Gaia to see whether you win, you can also just play this game and see how well you did. You know, I scored 217 points. Quite happy with that. The replayability in this game is huge because there are 10 
fauna cards included in the game. Let's just have a look. Let's just have a look at the fauna cards again. So there are 10 of these fauna cards included in the game, but they're double sided. In fact, is there 10? No, there's more than 10. What am I thinking of? There's loads. Look at all these. Yeah, there's way more than 10. And they're all double sided. So every single game, you choose four of these fauna cards at random. And that is where the replayability in this game comes in because every game is going to be different. If I was to just flip these over right now and just show you what we've got. Oh, we've got the cute, cute little frog. So green abilities, getting three or more green abilities, cards with the rocky habitat, uh, 10 cards each with two or more habitats and 20 soil in your reserve. Now, that might not look very interesting. It is just variations on a theme. But those cards, there can be a lot of points from those cards. So it's going to get you uh, a very different game. The ecosystem cards as well. Just check out how many ecosystem cards there are. Right, loads of them. And these are all double-sided as well. So the scoring cards for the end of game scoring, they are going to be different each game as well. And again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip them over. Not that I really scored much for that one. Um, Three points for every four cards in your compost. Oh, that would have been great. <laughs> that would have been absolutely fantastic for me. Uh, and this one, three points for every two cards, each costing one. What's interesting is that the two sides of a particular card are designed to sort of work against each other. So that's giving you points for cards in your compost. That's giving you cards for points in your hand. That's giving you points for cheap cards. That's giving you points for expensive cards. And then you've got your own player boards. So each player will have an island card. There are 10 islands, they're double-sided. 10 climate cards, double-sided. Uh, and you get an ecosystem card and you can choose which side of the ecosystem card you want as well. So yeah, every single game you play is going to be basically very, very tactical, very small uh, scale decisions every single turn on what you are going to do based on the situation, the cards in your hand, what the other players are doing. Uh, because in a multiplayer game, you do need to keep an eye on the other players. If, if you know somebody is about to plant and you've only got to plant one card, don't bother choosing the planting action yourself. Wait, because they're going to choose the planting action. Then you'll get to plant your card. Um, but your decisions are going to be modified by the fauna cards, the ecosystem cards, and a whole, whole bunch of other factors. Max is saying, I did use a good strategy. Yes. I, and I think I fell into it because... I simply didn't have enough soil and I didn't want to water at the start because you don't have anything to water. I didn't want to grow because I didn't want to grow anything and I couldn't really plant because I didn't have the soil. So I think the compost in action is what a lot of people choose early on. And in fact, I think the last last time I played this multiplayer, I think everybody chose the composting action earlier on um, because nobody started with much soil. Depending on which island you choose, some of the islands will start you with more soil. I think one of them starts with like nine or ten soil or something like that. Um, but yeah, there you go. We're all done. Uh, would I play this game solo again? Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's it's a nice puzzle and a nice challenge every time you play it to just try and do the best with what you've got. And as I say, if you're interested and you're on Board Game Arena, it is on Board Game Arena and I've been playing it on there both multiplayer and solo and the interface is is really nice it's in beta so i think you need a premium account uh, to play it but I, I know a lot of my patron supporters on the slack channel uh were playing it quite a few times at the moment as well so yeah really good uh and just a quick mention the how to play the video is is on the channel if you've watched this and you want to actually learn properly how to play then some guy with bushy eyebrows has done a how to play video uh which you can find on my youtube channel so yeah please go and check it out leave me a comment on this video and on that video all these things help. Again, big thank you to Inside Up Games for sponsoring this video, but also a big thank you to all of my patron supporters that fund the channel. All of my advertising revenue goes to charity, so any advertising that you've seen during this video, that all goes to charity. And right now, uh, it is helping the crisis over in Turkey with the earthquake. That's where we're sending all of the charity money at the moment. Um, but we're all done for today. So yeah, thank you very much to everybody for watching. It's been a pleasure having you here. It's been enjoyable to play. Definitely be doing it again. And I'll be back later in the week with some more playthroughs. Until next time, take care and thanks for watching.